So this is Baruch here at the Tiguan Elevator Call. I've been having some video troubles. I'm not sure what it's going on. The app is changing or what's going on here. Uh, which could be. That's the problem. Uh, we're on number Kof Tess, which is down at the bottom of this page. And before that, we're going to read a little bit of the, uh, of the Zohar itself. And it says, Dech said, Kamosha Kosev, it rises like this, Zeh Yom Elech Hashem it's a pasuk in Yeshay. It says this Zeh is one speaking. Yomer says La Shemani, and the pasuk says and explain. Pirish Zer Anpin and Nikra Zeh. The Zer Anpin is called Zeh. So here we are on number twenty nine. Let's go down to the bottom, see if we can pick it up. It says number twenty nine says Chof Tas. He says Urei Bahara Hagodem is B'shem Maris Rook. Should be the mila zeh, the word zeh itself. Rome is the zer, the zer venuk. It refers to zun. So he said ki oz zion because let's look at look at it like this. The letter zion itself shall mila zeh. Rome is the zer anpin. It refers to zer anpin. When zer anpin shahu babachinus eva rishon when it's it, it, in in a gestation stage. The oz hey the hey Rome is the nukva really refers to the nukva hakolulim zer anpin which is the nukva is originally a part of pesia what's called a, a foot that sticks out pesia labar hayisham v'yesh the chosiv ki zer anpin atzmo so there's also to add this idea that zer anpin himself gam came nikra chavishem zeka the isa bezor like we have in the zor. Zalashano man who ish hahu de ikre zeh, who's a man, the one that's called zeh. So the concept of man is adam, which refers to zeranpin. So he said, who ish dochor. So this is the concept of this male, this male, uh, this male concept. The cave kub shara mitzvah, so you see this in shara mitzvah. The zeranpin nikre zeh, zeranpin is called zeh ein shom, look over there. We had just a little bit more we're doing today. And, uh, so we're seeing, uh, let's go back, excuse me, to 29 up at the top. 29 at the top says like this, he said, and it should say that, I will say that I'm for Hashem. It means to say that I came into being men abba ve'ima as a result. In other words, they're generated by their parents, by his parents as their anpin. Which refers to Hashem, this word Hashem. Why? Hashem, Hashem, the word itself, Hashem itself, here, but begin is Abba, refers to Abba. And the Lamed, Shalomit is the Havaya, Romez, uh, let's say I lost the place there, Romez Leima. Now there is a note here on number Lamed, uh, but we're going to skip it. So let's go back up here, and that's that's where we are. And he says this lamed we're skipping. So this one zeh, this word zeh, refers to uh, to Yaakov. What does that mean? That aspect of zeh anpin. That we're talking about. It's called by the name Yaakov. So it's referred to the area of Eric Anpen, Xer Anpen rather, from the, from the chest going downwards, is called, uh, Yaakov. So he says, uh, 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 Lamat, the number Lamat Aleph, we're gonna skip Lamat Aleph and go to, go, go on. Vizat Yichtov Yado the Hashem, and then this one I will write, Yado the Hashem, his hand is for Hashem. That writes, Yada, the writing of his hand is for Hashem. That's the way to pronounce it. So this upper level is their anpin. Shehi minachaz and the mala from the chest going upward. Yichtov Yado. So this is where its hand will write. Haromas the sod hamochim and the crime yad kosevis, which is a reference to the mochim that are coming into their anpin, which is called the writing hand. Now, exactly, I've never seen it before. So those mochin that are contained in the upper mochin, in the upper section of their anpin, uh, shorshem min abba ve'ima, they have a root in abba ve'ima, ramaz ve'bidaz l'chashem kanal, which is really a reference to the word Hashem, as we said up above. And, uh, that's it for today, because, uh, that's where the shir ended, very short shir today. This is Barb Fleischman.